Hi, I'm Tim Toller, Canon for Music at St. John's Cathedral. Just a couple words about the music for this Sunday. Our prelude is simply entitled Prelude in F by Charles Villiers Stanford. He was an English composer. He appears frequently in programs here at St. John's Cathedral. And he's primarily remembered today as a composer of uh, choral music. He wrote a, an enormous amount of wonderful Anglican choral music that really raised the standards of English choral music in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. However, he was also an organist, and he wrote a great deal of organ music as well. And um, however, it's not really stood up as well generally as his choral music. It might sound a little bit dated to modern ears. Uh, he wrote several large-scale organ sonatas, but his best organ pieces actually are found in a couple of collections simply titled Six Short Preludes and Postludes. He wrote a couple of these sets. And the uh, unassuming title kind of obscures the fact that some of his very finest organ music is found in those collections. And the Prelude and F that I'll, I'll be playing this Sunday is a very simple, short, only about three and a half minute piece that really uh, shows off Stanford's gift for melody and his understanding of how to handle the organ. So there's a lot, uh, a lot of good um, musical density contained in those uh, three minutes of music. Our offertory anthem this Sunday is entitled Locus Iste. It's a Latin a cappella, meaning sung without accompaniment, motet by the Austrian composer Anton Bruckner. He is by far the best known nowadays for his monumental symphonies. He wrote nearly a dozen, although there's only nine numbered symphonies, he wrote nearly a dozen symphonies in total. He was very self-critical. He was very prone to depression, and he often uh, would be highly critical of his works, and he was constantly revising them and redoing them when he really didn't need to. He was an extremely devout Roman Catholic, and Lacus Iste was written for the dedication of the votive chapel at the cathedral in Linz in 1869, uh, where he was the organist at the time. The music is um, very simple, straightforward, but you can tell that it's influenced heavily by Renaissance composers and earlier music. Bruckner, uh, kind of unusual for his time, was very, very interested in the music of earlier centuries, and you can hear that in a lot of his choral music. Our postlude is a toccata by the Danish composer Dietrich Buxtehude, who was active in uh, northern Germany, basically a generation before J.S. Bach. He was a huge, huge influence on J.S. Bach. In fact, Bach once undertook a journey of some 280 miles, supposedly on foot, uh, to visit Buxtehude in the year 1705. And he, um, he gained a great deal of uh, knowledge about composition from Buxtehude. This Toccata in C is written in a rather unusual, jaunty, rhythmic style that actually directly influenced Bach's later Jigfugue, which I've also played here at St. John's. If you compare the two side by side, the, the similarities are just undeniable. I hope you enjoy the music this Sunday.